Rosie's a terrific woman, you're gonna love her. You'll be in good hands. She helps a lot of people. Seriously, you're gonna like it. Give it a shot, what do you have to lose? You're gonna be fine, you're a nice kid. You're gonna like the girls too. I brought them all up here. They had some rough times too. Just like you. Look, your parents messed up, but you have a chance to turn your life around. Now you can't stop talking. You can't be quiet the rest of your life. Do me one favor, will you give him a chance? Just give him a chance. Come on, Lena, talk to me. We're here. Come on in. I'm Rosie. Hey, Luna. Hey, girls. Hello. So, what do you know about her history? Well, I read her files. Is there anything else I need to know? Uh, except she didn't say a word to me the whole car ride over. <laughs> That's okay. I and mean, all the girls that come here start out like that. Yeah. Thanks for your concern. Yeah, of course. I'll come by next week. I'll check out. Okay. Thanks, Rosie. Lena? That's Bridget? Okay. That's Carmen. Hi, Lena. Why don't you show Lena where her room is, and we'll have dinner in a little while. Sure. Okay. Okay. So here's our room. We'll be roommates, and Bridget's room is next door. We're expecting another girl in a few weeks. That's your bed. Well, this is our dresser, and the bathroom is straight down to the left. Why don't we see if we can go help Rosie? Hey, Rosie, you need some help? Yeah, set the table, get some Cokes from the garage, and start making the salad. Where's Lena? She's still in bed. She hasn't even said a word. Just be patient. She'll come around. Remember what you guys were like when you first came here. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I'll get the Cokes. All right.
We're going to have some pizza and watch a really funny movie. You can join us. Well, we'll save some pizza for you if you get hungry later. May not seem so now, but things will get better. It's time to get up. Lena, we all wake up at 8 o'clock, have breakfast together, and do chores. Lena. Breakfast will be ready in 10 minutes. You can shower first if you want to. Oopalis! Yeah, I know I'm full too. Lena, you have to eat something. Remember the movie we saw yesterday? Oh, yeah. that was a funny movie. Remember when the hamburger was chasing the girl? That was great. That was cool. We should see that movie again. Yeah, we should. That was great. If you're not going to eat, at least help the girls. Help us? Well, I don't know, just leave it. Okay. Does your person have yellow hair? No. Does he have blonde hair? Yep. Does your person have white hair? Nope. Hey girls, thanks for cleaning up. You want to go hiking? Yeah, yeah sure. Lena, we're going hiking. I can't leave you here. You have to come. Okay, fine. Let's have lunch. <laughs> Lena, did you bring your backpack? Do you want something? 
if you do, just ask. Bridge, what's the matter? This reminds me when my mom and I would go on picnics together. Did your dad go with you? He died when I was young. But I do remember all the little things we did together. How much fun we had. Then he died. And I went off the deep end. I wish I could have appreciated my mom. She worked hard. I started to think I had to have expensive stuff, even though I know she couldn't afford it. I wanted money so bad that I went out on the streets and started selling myself. Why don't you come watch some TV with us? I'm getting really tired of this whole silent bit. I know you've been through a lot, but so have the other girls. You can talk to them about it. I don't want to talk to them. Why not? I don't want to talk to anybody. Why? What the hell do you know? You don't understand me. I'm trying to. Well, stop trying. I don't need your help. I didn't ask to be here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to know any of you. And I I'm sick of you telling me what to do all the time. You're not my mother and you never will be. And what do you know about pain? Nothing. You don't know about anything I went through, so just leave me alone. dare you talk to her like that? You don't know what she's been through. You know the pie? Yeah. We should do something with it. <laughs> we should. We Hold on. Shh, shh, she's coming. Hey girls, I brought you some snacks. Hey Rosie. Hey. We've been really grateful that you've been letting us stay at your house and taking care of us, so we made you a pie. <laughs> so I can't believe you did that! so I can't believe you Thank you. I'm sorry. I wasn't always like this. Why do you do this? 
Do what? Take care of three girls with problems. Girls that are not even your own children. I saw a need, Lena. I saw young girls with serious problems. They needed someone, and I had the ability to help. You're such a good person, Rosie. Why aren't you married and have children of your own? I was happily married once, but after three miscarriages, he decided that he wanted someone that could have children. I've always wanted to be a mother, so for me, helping you girls get through your problems helps me too. The happiest moment for me is when I see one of you smile. I want to make a difference and give you something that will help you put your life back together again. You girls mean so much to me. I want you to feel like you're at home with me. I've never been able to trust anyone before. And then I'm thrown into this home with, with other girls that have problems too, and I don't know what to say to them. I don't know how to act. Every time I've ever gotten close to anyone, they've been taken away from me. I'm afraid that if I get too close, I'll end up hurt again. And I don't want to feel that anymore. Look, we won't all be together forever. But while we are, you need to know we're all here for each other and we'll never hurt you. That means a lot to me. Thanks. Don't understand. It started off as a great day. My dad had been saving up for my birthday to take us all to Disneyland. In the morning, we went to Denny's. All of us got chocolate chip pancakes even though my mom thought they were truly disgusting. We really had a great time. But that night coming home, a drunk ran into our car and pushed us off the side of the freeway. One thing I still don't get is, why did everyone die but me? What about you, Lena? I have some good memories, but they didn't last long. Things slowly changed. My parents started arguing a lot. My dad started staying out late every night. He said he was working, but I don't really know. Then my mom, she started to stay out late too. Don't know what she was doing either. I was alone most of the time. Every noise I heard would scare me. I never got used to being alone. And one night, my dad came into my room. And then my mom came home and caught him. That night they had a terrible fight and my mother ended up in the hospital for the next three months. When she was released, she disappeared. I still don't know where she is. My dad was arrested and is spending five years in jail. I never want to see either one of them ever again. Are you girls ready to leave? Every Friday night we go bowling, so maybe you'd like to join us? Yeah. I'd like that. Thank you.